The voice of the clown prince of crime has never been better. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Mark Hamill's Joker moments. If you would be so kind, hand over my jaw. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the best moments from the Joker, as played by the inimitable Mark Hamill, across film, TV, and video games. There will definitely be spoilers ahead, so consider yourself warned. Boy, did you get a wrong number. Leave your message at the sound of the shriek. No, please, don't! Ah! Number 10, Joker's Favor, Batman, the animated series. There's your two cents. Now, what are you going to do to me? An early season one episode of the show that introduced Mark Hamill's version of the character to the world, Joker's Favor features the Joker terrorizing ordinary man Charlie and forcing him to perform a task for him. I'll let you off if you promise to do a little favor for me. The villain is in fine form and the story really demonstrates how threatening the Joker is to ordinary people. The episode is also the first ever appearance of the Joker's sidekick slash love interest, Harley Quinn. The best part happens toward the end of the episode though, when Charlie turns the tables on the Joker and makes the baddie desperate enough to beg Batman for help. No! Batman! Batman! Number 9. Like a Grilled Cheese Sandwich. Batman, the animated series. Justice is served hot, Batman! April Fools is a holiday tailor-made for the Joker, and the animated series sees him have a field day with it, as he transports his signature laughing gas via garbage barge to get all of Gotham giggling. Batman's pursuit of the clown eventually leads to a junkyard. You're going to melt just like a grilled cheese sandwich. The Joker's delighted exultation at his plan to melt Batman down, just like a grilled cheese sandwich, is wonderfully kooky. And soon after, just as in our previous entry, the villain pleads with Batman to save him when he almost meets the fate he'd intended for his enemy. Batman! You wouldn't let me fry, would you? Number 8. Joker Boss Battle Batman, Arkham Asylum Say, he looks all run down. Let's pep him up! Following his elaborate scheme to take over Arkham Asylum, the Joker is disappointed when Batman resists the Titan drug that's been shot into his bloodstream. With no other apparent option, Joker injects himself with the concoction and becomes a hulking monster while retaining his formidable faculties. Showtime, Batman! Let's do the room something to talk about! The Joker is rarely a hands-on, physical threat to Batman, so seeing a different, if grotesque, side to him is definitely a unique experience. Also, this moment has huge ramifications for the later Arkham Games storylines, and especially the Joker himself. Ready for the next round? Always. What? Number 7. Almost Killing Superman. Superman, the animated series. Joker. Lexi, old kid, do I have a deal for you? After acquiring a kryptonite statue, the Joker makes Lex Luthor an offer he can't refuse. He'll kill Superman for a billion dollars. Although the clown criminal at first appears to have been outthought, with Superman wearing a lead suit to guard against the kryptonite, the Joker reveals he came prepared and uses acid to dissolve the suit. I forgot the acid! With Superman at his mercy, the Joker gets in a few licks and electric shocks, but ends up being thwarted by Batman. Still, it's a testament to the Joker's criminal ingenuity that he's able to do what Luther and his money couldn't. It hasn't begun, Soupy! Number 6. Injustice for All. Justice League. You're crazy. And what's wrong with that? It's done wonders for me. To combat the Justice League, Lex Luthor assembles the Injustice Gang. Naturally, the Joker is a bit hurt that he wasn't invited, but soon finagles his way into the group by luring Batman into a trap, defeating him with a simple bag of rocks of all things. <laughs> but Luther denies him the pleasure of killing Batman, so Joker spends much of this two-part episode behaving like a marvelously childish troll, needling his allies and foes alike. Party pooper. His final Daffy Duck inspired words to Batman after being defeated yet again even managed to elicit a smile from the Dark Knight. You're despicable. <sighs> Number 5. Christmas with the Joker. 
Batman, the animated series. Greetings, Gotham, and Merry Christmas! On Christmas Eve, the Joker escapes Arkham Asylum and soon hijacks Gotham's airwaves for his own Christmas special full of holiday horror with plenty of challenges for Batman and Robin. Gee, Joker, it's sure nice of you to get Bat Breath a present. Some episode highlights include Joker's hand puppet sidekick and his rendition of the popular school children's version of Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile lost the wheel and the Joker got away! Also, this was the first episode of the show that Mark Hamill recorded as the Joker, and he hit the ground running, perfectly capturing the villain's manic glee, menace, and hilarious dialogue. Bah humbug! Number 4, The Last Laugh, Batman, Mask of the Phantasm. You just don't know when to quit, do you? While he's not the primary antagonist of this animated Batman film, the Joker makes quite an impact nevertheless. The Clown Prince of Crime has a number of standout moments throughout the movie, but his best happens near the end. Utterly defeated by Batman, cornered by the eponymous Phantasm, and with his hideout exploding around him, the Joker laughs in the face of how completely doomed he is. Mark Hamill has delivered a wide range of wonderful Joker laughs over the decades, but this is arguably his greatest, both in terms of quality and context. For once, I'm stuck without a punchline. Uh -oh. Number 3, The Joker Sings Only You, Batman, Arkham City. Get out of my way, bats! I've got a date with immortality! Joker's Titan injection in the first Arkham game ends up poisoning him in the sequel and forces the clown to face the prospect of his imminent demise. While Batman debates giving his nemesis the cure, the Joker attacks him and shatters his only chance at survival. That actually is... <laughs> pretty funny! <laughs> Joker's death itself is oddly tragic, but the ending credits reveal that Joker left an audio message for Batman, where he sings the song Only You, as a twisted way of telling his foe how much he means to him. Only you can make this world seem right. Hamill's performance of the song is perfection, as he alternates between laughing and sobbing. <laughs> Number 2, without Batman, crime has no punchline. Batman, the animated series. Without Batman, crime has no punchline. When a nobody appears to kill Batman, the Joker is at first in denial, robbing a jewelry store in the hopes that Batman will show up to stop him. When the Dark Knight doesn't appear, Joker is actually disappointed. Dear friends, today is the day the clown cried. He then goes on to hold a mock funeral for Batman that shows off many aspects of his character. From his murderous side, when he uses it as a pretext to kill the man who killed Batman, to his humorous one, by putting on a kick me sign on Batman's empty cowl. You know what's great about you, Puddin? You really put the fun in funeral. He even displays a rare bit of emotion by shedding a tear. Well, that was fun. Who's for Chinese? Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Just go loony like an acid casualty, or a movie, or a preacher on TV. That looks fun. Let me try. Ah! If you have to explain a joke, there is no joke! Number 1, Joker's Death, Batman Beyond, Return of the Joker. I'll begin with how I peeled back the layers of the boy's mind. Some of the vilest deeds Hamill's Joker perpetrates happen when he kidnaps Tim Drake. After spending weeks torturing and conditioning the boy, the Joker finally learns who Batman is, and mocks the Dark Knight with this knowledge when he confronts him. It'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic. No, what the heck, I'll laugh anyway. <laughs> Even worse, he reveals that Tim has essentially been turned into a miniature Joker. And what he thinks is a great joke, the Joker tells Tim to kill Batman with one of his gag spear guns. Here you go, sonny boy! Make daddy proud. Struggling with the prospect, Tim instead shoots the Joker, prompting his ironic final words, That's not funny. Fitting and incredibly dark. This is a fantastic end for the Joker and our list. <laughs> 
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.